Have you ever been in the midst of manifesting? Ever been in the midst of, yep, this is exactly what I want to do. And this is exactly the life that I wish to live. And this is exactly the life that I'm manifesting. And then three days into it, you're like, I don't think this can happen. You get back up and you're fine. And then six days later, you're like, I don't know if this can happen. Or maybe it's been weeks and you everything has been cooking with gas like you're just going and going and going and going and then all of a sudden something kind of trips you up or you're having a bit of a obstacle right something just kind of goes off the rails a little bit and then you're again like I'm not sure this can happen and you find yourself frustrated you find yourself worrying you find yourself slipping right back in to all those old habits and old paradigms and old ways of thinking and you get really down. If that's you, then you're going to want to watch this video. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer. I'm a doctor of metaphysics and divinity, so I cannot write your prescription, but I can recommend a good crystal. So we're going to talk today about how to keep your vibration high and what happens when that, when the dips happen, because listen, um, that's the reality. You are human. You cannot be expected to know, should you expect yourself to stay at this high vibrational frequency all the time? Because it's just not reality. Okay? So there's various ways to do this. There's various ways to keep your vibration high, to keep that manifestation flow, that creation flow, to keep yourself, what does Abraham Hicks say? Oh, keep yourself in the vortex, right? There's a way to keep yourself there. And I'm going to give you three tips for that today. Tip number one, have compassion for yourself. It's not the end of the world. We all experience the same thing. We all experience from time to time, humanity kicks in. Everything, even in my life, everything doesn't go perfectly fine every day of the week. It just doesn't happen. It's not reality. Everything doesn't go perfectly fine month after month after month after month after month. Now, as you get accustomed to flowing at this high vibrational level, does it happen more often? Absolutely. Like, it, does it just kind of become a regular thing? Absolutely. But when I was first on this journey and first learning how to be a co-creator, I, you know, from time to time, it would be that like, Oh my gosh, you know, I, I don't see the fruits, right? I don't see the fruits of my labor. I don't see the manifestations happening. They're not happening as fast as I want them to. My life isn't changing as quick as I had anticipated. And what I learned early on is the key is to have compassion. One of the keys is to have compassion with yourself. Okay? You are not perfect. No one is. So it's okay. It's normal. It's cool. We're going to get through it. Okay. Number two, then, is check to see why you are in this state that you're in. So what do I mean by that? I want you to really identify this feeling. Is it worry? Is it fear? Well, worry and fear are the same thing. Is it self-doubt? Um, is it that you're irritated because somebody else did something that then means that you couldn't do what you wanted to do and so on? Check and see why you're feeling the way you're feeling and really get down to the root of it and really get down to the what it truly is. Because if it's fear, then what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of failure? Are you afraid that if this doesn't work, then what's going to happen? Right? So all of that stuff, it stops the whole process, even briefly. But what I want you to also look at it is this. If you identify these fears, these worries, these concerns, these areas where you don't feel self-empowered, if you really identify them and what they are, then you can go and do that little bit of shadow work to work on it and raise that vibration right back up. Now, number three, I know this is, sounds really nuts, but I want you to find something within your space in that moment that you can feel happy for, grateful for, that you find joy in. So if, for instance, you've been 
manifesting a new job. And my goodness, you've put in like, I don't know, 50 applications, right? And it just feels like nobody's getting back to you. You're not getting calls for interviews. You're not getting callbacks. People are ghosting you. That can be pretty disconcerting and that can be really like disheartening. So what I want you to do instead, I want you to get up from that desk and that wherever you're at in that moment, I want you to find something, anything that you can be grateful for. Find something that you can be happy doing. Find something that lifts your spirit. Find something that lifts your vibration, your frequency. Because your body doesn't necessarily know It doesn't necessarily discern that you're feeling bad because of one thing or feeling good because of another. It just knows this is the frequency, if that makes sense. So if you raise your frequency, even if you're doing something completely different, it's going to raise your vibrational frequency of your whole being. And then what does that do? It keeps you vibrating at the frequency level of what it is you're manifesting pretty cool hack isn't it also that keeps you in an attitude of gratitude so it's a win-win all right now i hope you found these three tips really helpful give me a comment below like which one of these tips that you did really hit you did all three of them get to you and which one can, can you think you can implement these like now try that okay and let me know how it works Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you. Namaste. And never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. Take care. Bye.